Hi, and welcome to our top tip section. At this point, I'm going to give you some of the tips that I've learned over the many years I've been training. And these are the things that are essential for gaining muscle quickly. If you can do something effectively and efficiently that's going to work your muscle, it's going to break the muscle down and it's going to grow. And basically, it's going to burn fat off for you as well. So it's a win-win situation. The first top tip, tricep exercises. Most people, when they do a tricep exercise, want to grip the bar like so. So what they're doing, they're putting their thumbs under the bar. As soon as you do that, you start to exercise your forearm. What we want to do is to neutralize the forearm muscle and put all the effort into the tricep. So what we do, we put our thumb over the top of the bar like so. So we're not gripping, we've got our thumbs over like this. And this is for all tricep exercises and I'll show you. So if we're going to do a basic tricep push down, our hands are over the bar but our thumbs aren't gripping. So basically my forearms aren't helping the exercise, it's all on the tricep. So that's why we don't grip, we actually put our thumbs over the top. And I'm going to show you, that's the tricep push down. It's the same for tricep extensions, lying tricep extensions. If I'm going to do, there's all sorts of names for this exercise, scuttle crushers, whatever. But again, once I've got myself comfortable, I lay down, put the bar over like so, I then move my thumbs and straight away the pressure is on the tricep. Now here's another top tip, you're getting double for your money on this one. When people do this, this tricep uh, extension, the line tricep extension, they tend to have the weight vertically right over the top of them. Now I'm going to do this with one hand, not the exercise, but what you've done now is really taken the stress off the tricep. When I do this exercise, I angle the bar slightly over. So now my triceps are stressed all the time. I then lower it down to my head, just touching, you can see now why they call them skull crushers, and then blowing out as we do, we push it back up. And again, I don't push it up to the 90 degrees like so, I actually hold it at an angle. So my triceps are under tension all the time. Like so. So we've got a double effective use of this. We've effectively taken the use of our forearms out of this exercise by using the grip that I've shown you. And we're actually putting stress on the triceps by not putting the bar at 90 degrees, but angling it forwards like so. And if you get your fifth, sixth, seventh rep out when you need a rest, then put it up there, take a breath, you'll be amazed at the difference because you're holding it like so. And then go back and try and get your last few reps out. I'm just going to show you this one last tricep exercise, just with the top tip, and hopefully I'll show you what I mean. Tricep kickback. If you hold the weight and grip it like normal, look what happens to my forearm. See the muscle there? That's because I'm gripping the weight. As soon as I pull my thumb off, my forearm relaxes. So that means that when I actually go to do the tricep extension, it is all on the tricep. As soon as I grip the weight like so, see what happens to my forearm, it flexes. So I can use my forearm to pull the weight up. But as soon as I take that off, it's neutralized my forearm and all the weight and stress is going on my tricep, just where I want it. Well, I hope this top tip helped. And like I said, there's a few little other tips in there. This is what I want to show you. This is all about the gym work I talk about. We walk in the gym, we use the time effectively, and 
that's the show. I've got to go and do some work. I'll show you the next top tip.